Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we have another Venom movie news uh, item here, and this is great because the last like three videos I made were all about the movie, and obviously I figured that was going to happen as we get closer to it, so I promise the Venom first host reviews of issue two and three are on their way. They will be up hopefully uh, over the weekend or maybe early next week, and then also I'll have the uh, Venom uh, Thunderbolt Secret Invasion storyline so we can continue our, you know, dissection of Matt Gargan and our discussions on that character being Venom. And then we'll try to wrap up Dark Avengers uh, before, like the week before the movie comes out, and then we'll dive back into Eddie Brock stuff while the movie's out. And we'll talk more about Eddie Brock comics that we missed out on before on this show. But speaking of comics, this is an interesting one, and this is one I'll probably review for you guys tomorrow. Uh, this is a digital comic exclusive IGN has the exclusive on this it is a tie-in to the movie uh, it's called it, the book is just called Venom it's a one-shot comic and it's gonna act as a prequel in a way to the events of the films uh, it'll be released digitally on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at Marvel.com uh, so I will pick up the digital copy tomorrow morning and, uh, and I'll read it and I'll review it for you guys. I'll try to get that up as soon as possible as well. Uh, but here I just wanted to bring the news to you just so you had it. And I'll try to get this video up today, uh, which is Thursday, on um, September 13th. And, uh, and I think I can get this up to you by the end of the day. So that way you got a little bit of a heads up. But I am, you know, retweeting on Twitter and stuff. So if you ever are late on my videos, follow me on Twitter. I get information out there as soon as I can uh, that way. So the creative team on this book is going to be writer Sean Ryan. And we have artist uh, Simon Kudransky, who I am a huge fan of. Uh, this is exciting. I can't wait to see his take on Venom. I think he's drawn, I think he's drawn the character before, I can't remember, but he's done Spawn stuff uh, in recent years, and he's done a lot of great things uh, in comics, and he kind of comes in, fills in, uh, you know, as an artist on a couple different books, uh, but then now starting to get monthly titles and things, and so to know he's going to be on here, I'm telling you, you're going to like it. He has a very dark and grim style. Uh, it's like a lot of shadows, a lot, you know, a lot of things like that, so I'm curious. I want to know you know what the story is about. You see, you know Eddie Brock or Tom Hardy Eddie Brock uh, it, it turning into Venom on the cover here that you can see. Um, and this is, like I said, exclusively to IGN, so it's going to have the IGN logo on it. So uh, I'll put the article link down below so you can read more about this. Uh, the artist on the cover, though, is someone named Scan, S-K-A-N. And also the colorist is going to be Ian Herring and letterer Joe Sabino. So that's like the full creative team. And like I said, S-K-A-N is going to be doing the cover that you see there, which looks awesome. Uh, and yeah, so I'll let you check that out. Uh, they do mention in here that the movie is going to be inspired by Lethal Protector and Planet of the Symbiotes. And I do have my theories about that. We talked about that before where Riot at the end, there's like that shuttle and everything. And our uh, my, my thought process on that is that maybe Riot has confiscated or now that he's bonded with, uh, you know, Carlton Drake, that he is has access to this shuttle. And he's going to try to use that to plan an invasion of Symbiotes to Earth, which is kind of what the story was in Planet of the Symbiotes. Not involving Riot, but there was a Symbiotes going out there getting pieces of tech together and using it to build a gateway to bring symbiotes to earth for an invasion and i'm thinking that might probably be what riot's plan is is to bring more symbiotes to earth somehow i don't know that's just a theory of mine um but uh, we'll see and i'm wondering if this prequel is going to tell us a little bit more about the symbiotes themselves because Ruben fleischer did say that uh, in one of the interviews at comic-con that uh, riot and venom the suits have a past together. And I'm kind of curious to see what that is. And are we, since this is a prequel comic, are we even going to see Eddie Brock wearing the suit? Or does he narrate it? You know, maybe bookends it or something like that? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious because he is on the cover and it's an amazing image. It looks awesome. Uh, but I don't think uh, the book's going to be about him uh, uh, as the symbiote, obviously. Uh, so it'll be it'll be really interesting to see. Maybe we'll see his life in New York and his life fall apart. Maybe it'll be about the Sin Eater. Who knows? Like, I'm, I'm very excited to see what this is going to be about. So you guys let me know what you think down below. We probably don't have to speculate too much because we're going to get the book in less than 24 hours. And I promise I'll read it then. And I hope you guys will too. And I'll put a link to Marvel's website down below and this article so you can check it out and you can be ready uh, you know, during your time whenever it releases. For me, it's going to be 8 a.m. So I'll make sure I'm up at 8 a.m. and and ready to record a video for you guys. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.